Today, we're going to do another easy and relaxing cocktail glass sketch. As you're drawing, make sure you are using a very light touch. You also want to capture the highlights, uh, the change in value, in other words, uh, from paper white to mid tone to dark tone, and capture the changes of value is more important than uh, capturing what you think uh, the wine glass looks like. Sketch what you see, don't sketch what you think you see. The first layer of colouring is with the background. Go in with a very light uh, version. Your eyes can see the difference between paper white and a very diluted paint. Um, in this case, uh, very diluted and so you can see that there is a difference between background and the wine glass. The wine itself, um, I intend it to be red. I do um, something quite funny, which is if I want it red and I want it to be a complex color, I tend to start it with the opposite color, in this case, green or a version of green. And with that, when you see that I charged red into it, it creates a very interesting um, color in itself, as you can see shortly. So now I start charging uh, red into the green. Charging as in while the base color is still wet, I dropped a, the opposite color into it uh, and the green start to push the base color to the side. And this makes for a very interesting uh, color uh, as opposed to if you had used red straight off the bat. Another fresher red is charged into the second layer, so this would be like the third layer. A bit of an orangey red, a hot red if you like. A bit more pink. So as you can see, the colour is a very mature, oops, uh, doesn't matter, very easy, fixed tissue. Uh, as you can see, the colour will be a very nice uh, mixture of hot red, warm red and there's a, there's a glow of the opposite colour green still at the underlying uh, colour.
now I'm ready to uh, add more darks on the edges uh, so that uh, the shadows of uh, the edge of the wine glass uh, comes through like so more darks Now I start to draw uh, the stem or with the same dark color I've used previously. Very gently drawing thin lines to reflect uh, the glass. As you can see, the background is tinted and the glass is white. So your eyes will see the difference between uh, the two shades. So I draw the remaining bottom part of the glass uh, a bit more carefully with lines uh, focusing on the shadow of uh, the glass itself you can fly, find plenty of references online for glasses uh, and uh, you don't have to use my image but the, the technique will be the same Now we move to paint the slice of uh, lime at the top of the wine glass. I drop in strong orange, yellow uh, and a little bit of hot red onto it. Uh, all the time keep in mind to leave some whites.
and now I'm ready to add uh, or take away and soften some of the edges uh, with a bristled brush, short uh, bristle. You can use one of the oil painting brushes uh, that are stiff, you cut it shorter and then you can use it to sort of brush the edges uh, of the watercolor away. Very effective. Uh, just put in uh, the uh, reflection on the shiny table, give you a sense of, of uh, reflection. Uh, using a eraser to rub off uh, the remaining pencil lines. Even though I draw with very light touch, I still prefer to have no pencil line, if possible. Making sure the reflection stands out a little bit. Uh, as you can see, the bottom part uh, of the glass uh, is contrasted with a very light background, tinted background. Uh, and on top, it is pretty much paper white. So now, I'm tinting the top part of the glass. To make it feel like there's a bit of a reflection and there's a bit of a color or a shade to it. Sometimes you see there are mistakes in the drawing. It doesn't matter. I think if you want a perfect uh, image, a photograph is the best way of capturing it. But if you want a watercolor painting, mistakes are highly acceptable. In fact, I much prefer to have mistakes in my watercolor. It makes it look like it's uh, alive or it has uh, a life of, of its own. So never be afraid of mistake. Mistake is part of life. We all have uh, 10,000 mistakes in our watercolor. The sooner we make them, uh, the better it will be. So I much prefer to make my all my mistakes. Some, some touch up on uh, various aspects just to make the image more readable. Uh, it's very important to, to think readability. Uh, as you look at the image, you want to think, how would my audience see it? Uh, would it be uh, like a glass? Uh, what would make it look more like a glass? Uh, what would it make more like a drink? Uh, what would make it more uh, readable, basically? I think that's it put my name and, and the date and the year um, and I think I'm quite happy with uh, this sketch do I need to fix any hmm. let's see yes soften some edges I see plenty of mistake but it doesn't matter I can't like that more softening some edges uh, in the background so that it's not so uh, distracting some white perhaps uh, these are copic uh, white you can just dab a little bit for more reflection get back some of the whites Note that actually paper white is not the same as uh, opaque white. Uh, they are two different things and it's important to treat them as such. Anyway, I think I'm almost done. What do you think? Uh, hoping that you will try uh, this little thing at home. Take an image of a cocktail and paint one yourself. Final touched my name. Seal in red. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this.